At this point in time, the biggest political party in America is one that has no name and no obvious leaders. Who are the members of this party? Well, one block of this party are the people who voted for Barack Obama in 2008 and who have gone from the audacity of hope to a positive results. Another part of this party are conservatives who are not thrilled by Mitch Romney, who made most of his fortune by sending jobs to India and China. Every working American is also part of this party because they have seen the purchasing power of their salaries and wages go down year after year after year. And of course, the long-term unemployed, who see no possibility of getting a job anytime soon, are a big part of this group, and there are millions of them. Many college graduates are part of this group because they are coming out of school with large debts that they can't pay because they can't find jobs that will pay them enough in order to pay off their debts. And then there is a group of parents who have seen the individual health insurance policies of their children canceled because of a loophole in Obamacare. On top of that, we have the millions upon millions of working poor who will be required to pay a $2,000 penalty if they can't find $8,000 to pay for health insurance. And of course, our friends in the Tea Party are also part of this. Investors are also part of this group because of men like this, Jamie Diamond. He continues to collect his $23 million a year salary, even though he has lost $27 billion in stockholder value in the past few months. In short, the members of this party are just about everyone because they are disaffected from a system that is not working for them. This party is a hazard to any politician who ignores it, and it's also an opportunity for any politician who will take time to appeal to it.